like and subscribe, and you'll have amazing luck for the rest of the week. Humans have experienced earthquakes for thousands of years, though they never get any less tragic. Every waking day, along the cracks and crevices of the Earth, a severe and damaging earthquake could occur. Today, we count down the 10 biggest earthquake cracks ever recorded. Number 10. Great Alaska Earthquake, 1964 500 years is a really long time. Now imagine putting pressure on any particular thing for that amount of time. Now imagine 500 years of pressure being released all at the same time. Imagine holding your breath for a really long time, assuming you don't die, and imagine how hard that breath in after holding it all that time would be. You'd probably suck in all the air out of the atmosphere. Well, that in reverse is kind of what happened in Alaska. On Good Friday, March 27, 1964, the Great Alaska Earthquake, also known as the Good Friday Earthquake, struck Alaska's Prince William Sound region at 5.36 p.m. It was recorded as one of the most violent earthquakes ever recorded in the United States, lasting almost four and a half minutes. The earthquake caused a 27-foot tsunami that obliterated Chiniga's village. A large underwater landslide was also triggered. The harbors and docks of Port Valdez were destroyed and took 30 people there with it. 139 people are said to have perished in total, 15 directly from the earthquake, 106 people in Alaska from the tsunami, and this especially is where tsunamis are dangerous five people in Oregon, and 13 people in California also perished from tsunami waves generated from an earthquake in Alaska. A fault in the earth spanning 600 miles had burst all at once, moving up to 60 feet, unleashing 500 years of built-up tension. Number 9. Assam, Tibet, 1950 Near the Himalayas, one of the world's greatest recorded earthquakes struck. And when it did, eastern Tibet and Assam, India bore the biggest brunt. At least 1,500 people perished. The quake was felt from China's provinces to India's Calcutta. Large landslides resulted from the earthquake, obstructing rivers. When those rivers broke through the rubble barricades, waves flooded the settlements, claiming the lives of hundreds of people. The quake occurred at the point where the Indian continental plate collided with the Eurasian plate and dives beneath it, thus creating one of the world's most explosive continental plate collisions. In fact, these collisions are what form the Himalayas and continue to grow them to this day. You've heard of tsunamis, right? But have you lived through one? If the answer is no, then you might want to thank your lucky stars. Northern Sumatra knows a thing or two about how deadly tsunamis are. Number 8. Northern Sumatra, Indonesia, 2005 An earthquake with a magnitude of 8.6 hit in the Indian Ocean near the Indonesian city of Aceh on April 11, 2012. Tsunami warnings were initially issued but later canceled. These were exceptionally powerful intraplate earthquakes. In fact, the earthquake generated from these plates slipping over each other was one of the largest known to man. Thankfully, it happened far away from most populated areas and it did not cause severe tsunamis. There were 10 deaths and 12 injuries reported, most of which caused by panic or heart attacks. This fear was sadly generated because months prior to this earthquake, there was a large earthquake that wreaked havoc on the population of Indonesia. Number 7. The Haiti Earthquake The earthquake in Haiti in 2010 wreaked havoc, displacing an estimated 1.5 million people. On January 12, 2010, the earthquake struck at 4.53 p.m about 15 miles southwest of Haiti's capital. It began with a 7.0 magnitude shock, but was quickly followed by two 5.9 and 5.5 magnitude aftershocks. In the days that followed, several aftershocks also struck, including a 5.9 magnitude on January 20th in a village 35 miles from the original strike point. Haiti hadn't seen an earthquake of this size since the 18th century. 
But shifting the light back onto Sumatra, Sumatra has seen its fair share of tragedies. Okay, well, maybe more than fair, but it really makes you think that nature should cut them some slack. But then again, when have you known Mother Nature to be merciful? Number 6. Sumatra Earthquake 2004 The 2004 Sumatra Earthquake, also known as the 2004 Indian Ocean Earthquake, struck off the west coast of Sumatra, Indonesia on December 26th. This earthquake was one of the most deadliest natural disasters in modern history. It broke the longest fault length of any earthquake ever measured, reaching over 900 miles. The tsunami that followed this earthquake had waves as high as 30 meters in the air, claiming the lives of up to a quarter of a million people. The earthquake also had the greatest faulting duration ever recorded, ranging between 8 to 10 minutes long. It created a 1 centimeter vibration across the entire Earth. The tremor released a total of 4 joules of energy, which in layman's terms is 550 million times more energy than the Hiroshima atomic bomb. The majority of that energy was contained underground. The tsunami that followed was so large and grand, you might know it as the 2004 Indian Ocean Tsunami, the South Asian Tsunami, the Indonesian Tsunami, the Christmas Tsunami, hundreds of thousands of Christian tourists were among the disaster victims, and the Boxing Day Tsunami, among other nicknames. Number 5. Offshore Mall, Chile, 2010 the 2010 Mall Earthquake, also referred to as the 2010 Chile Earthquake, struck off the coast of central Chile at 3.34 on Saturday, February 27th. For about three minutes, there was a lot of shaking. The tsunami caused by the earthquake wreaked havoc on several coastal communities in south-central Chile. Some of the local ports were badly affected by the tsunami. The earthquake occurred on the tectonic plate boundary between the Nazca and South American continents. The quake struck just over a month after the devastating magnitude 7.0 earthquake that hit Haiti that claimed the lives of over 200,000 people. Buildings toppled in various places, including the capital, with many people facing a similar fate. The earthquake and tsunami that struck central Chile only claimed the lives of 525 people, but it left 25 people missing and displaced 800,000 people. More than 1.8 million individuals were affected, with a total economic loss of 30 billion US dollars. To this day, central Chile is still experiencing occasional aftershocks. Number 4. Kamchatka Peninsula, Russia, 1952 Because Kamchatka, Russia is home to one of the world's most active volcanic zones, it's no wonder that a massive earthquake happened off the shore of the Kamchatka Peninsula. On November 4, 1952, it triggered a massive Pacific-wide tsunami, with waves as high as 15 meters wreaking havoc on the peninsula and nearby islands. It took the lives of an estimated 10,000 to 15,000 people. Crescent City, California was also devastated by this tsunami, which had already been heavily struck by a recent Japanese tsunami. In Hawaii, no lives were lost but the property damage was estimated to be worth a million US dollars. Boats were hurled onto the shore, buildings collided, piers were wrecked, beaches were scoured, and road pavement was displaced by the waves. Peru, Chile, New Zealand, Alaska, and California were all affected by the tsunami originating off the coast of Russia. Number 3. Tohoku Earthquake a huge underwater mega-thrust earthquake struck off the coast of Japan on March 11, 2011. This generated a large tsunami with waves reaching 40 meters in height. The waves reached inland as far as 6 miles and caused substantial and severe structural damage in northeastern Japan, making it by far one of the worst in human history. Airports, roads, and railroads were devastated. 
as were 130,000 structures completely destroyed. Nearly 300,000 buildings were partially demolished, and another 750,000 were substantially damaged. Most famously, this caused nuclear catastrophes, with three reactors at the Fukushima nuclear power plant experiencing level 7 meltdowns, which basically means a major accident. According to the U.S. Geological Service, this earthquake was so bad that it slightly moved the Earth's rotating axis. Number 2. Valdivia Earthquake 1960 It was known as the Great Chilean Earthquake. This quake struck on May 22nd in the afternoon around 100 miles off the coast of Chile, parallel to the city of Valdivia. It lasted around 10 minutes long and resulted in a tremendous tsunami, with waves reaching 25 meters high. It wreaked havoc on Chile's coastline before racing over the Pacific Ocean and wreaking havoc on Hawaii, 10,000 kilometers from the epicenter of the earthquake. It even went as far as the Philippines and Japan. Waves there were as high as 10.7 meters. The plates at this earthquake shifted more than 40 meters in some regions, instantly changing the level of the Earth's surface in places, particularly along the coast. It's said that up to 6,000 people died as a result of the earthquake and tsunamis. And with that, it's now time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber, so if you come across a photo online and you want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it in our future video. Number 1. Giant Crack in Antarctica As if the pandemic's occurrences and its overachieving streak of mutation wasn't enough, the Brunt Ice Shelf in Antarctica has been shattered by a massive iceberg more than 20 times the size of Manhattan. This dramatic breakup occurred after a big crack appeared on the shelf and grew till the berg broke off. The North Rift Breach is the third large fissure to actively cut across the Brunt Ice Shelf in the previous decade. In January 2020, the North Rift Fracture grew at a rate of around 0.6 miles each day towards the northeast. On February 20th, it enlarged a couple of 100 meters in mere hours. The good news is big portions of Antarctic ice shelves breaking off is a common part of just how they work. But large, large ones like the Brunt Ice Shelf are very unusual and fascinating to see. 